What is up you guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about things to do on the plane because I know plane rides can get pretty boring, but if you use these steps, maybe you'll have a pretty productive flight. Step one, take off your shoes. It's so important to feel comfortable. I know there's nothing worse than walking around the airport and trying to catch your flight, so your feet might want a little bit of a break. It feels so good and freeing, I'll tell you that much. Step two, before your flight, make sure to download a playlist on Spotify or SoundCloud Go or Apple Music and have that ready to go and put on your Beats headphones, your Sonys, your Boses, whatever headphones you've got and jam to some music. I love listening to music, especially when I'm taking off and when I'm landing. I don't know why, but it's a lot of fun and you can't have your bigger electronics open. So it's perfect to just listen to some music and jam out and look like a crazy person, honestly. Step three is snuggle with your neighbor if they feel comfortable. I was lucky to travel with a pal this time, so I grabbed my sweater and I snuggled up because, I mean, you might as well. You're right next to them. Or you can make friends with them and be like, hey, can we can we snuggle now? Because, like, I mean... <laughs> Or they may fall asleep on you, or you may fall asleep on them. I highly recommend, if you can, getting a window seat because that is the best. You can lean against the window and fall asleep. Or as Joey did here, he just, he slept on me. And yes, he snored. Step four is edit photos and plan your Instagram. That is a big favorite pastime of mine so I went on the app Unum and I had some pictures that I took from the trip I was on and I was just moving them around seeing how I liked how they looked together and then I also went ahead and edited some photos that I hadn't edited yet some maybe I took on my way to the airport and it's just kind of fun and relaxing to listen to music and edit photos and you have them ready to go once you land Step five, read a magazine or book. I'm a big fan of reading on planes. Since you have to be on airplane mode, it's definitely a great way to go. So sometimes I'll buy a book at the airport bookstore or I'll bring one. Magazines are definitely a favorite of mine as well. It's really up to you, but I think it's a good excuse to read. Step six, make lists. It's fun. It might just be me, but sometimes on flights I'll write lists like things I need to buy for college or things I need to do when I get home or when I get to the hotel or whatever it is. It's just kind of comforting to me and then you get off the flight and you're like so organized. It's amazing. Step seven is pre-download movies. I had a ton of iTunes gift cards that I had got from like random occasions and I went on iTunes and I purchased some movies and I downloaded them before my flight because you can't do it while you're on your flight. And I watched Bride Wars that day. I love that movie so much. And let me tell you, if it's like a two and a half hour flight, you watch one movie, you land, and it's like, wow, amazing. This is awesome. My last step and idea is to plan out your week or trip. I always bring my planner with me. It's something I find very relaxing, but again, to each his own. So I pulled out my planner. I looked at the month ahead of me. I planned some activities that I wanted to do on my next trip. I planned things I needed to do, wrote down to-do lists, things I just needed to do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Have a very happy flight. Have safe travels. Enjoy wherever you're headed to. Make sure to comment down below your next trip. I'm super curious. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to pre-order my backpack that you guys saw in this video. I always have the link down below. It's on pre-order until August 15th and then they will ship them out. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.